Hey, good morning, everyone. Tractorman44 here. This morning, I'm going to put up a video that uh, is a brand new video that's never been edited nor uploaded before, but it is four years old. You're going to be able to tell I look just a little bit different because uh, in this particular video, I hadn't had a shave or a haircut in quite some time. So I'm a little bit, you know, kind of a little rough around the edges, you know what I mean? But it's just a simple duct refresher video. Uh, nothing fancy at all. As a matter of fact, at the end of the video, don't even assemble the duct. It's just a refresher for laying out and how to figure out what you're going to make or need to lay out for just plain, basic, straight duct. That's all there is to it. Quick, simple, just a, just a simple little video that I'm kind of using to fill in the, uh, the dry spots in between. Things are just so busy right now, I don't have time to hardly even turn around. So I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, man, I got a ton of them in reserve that I need to, uh, to get edited and put up, you know. But a lot of them will be just like this, a little bit, uh, little bit old, but never before edited or put up. So hang in there and take a look, see at this one here, and uh, hopefully y'all enjoy it. Hey, good afternoon everyone, it's Tractor Man 44 here. I don't know if you'd like to have a little bit of a re refresher on making just a plain piece of straight duck, but I gotta knock out a couple of them real quick. Just two little short ones. Now bear in mind, you know, this is just the way I do it there's any any number of ways of doing it let me kind of give you an idea how I lay out or allow what dimensions to add up to get the cut sizes in order to make the, the pieces of metal okay if you take a look here I've just got written down 9 inch by 20 inch by 36 inch in length 9 inch by 20 inch by 18 inch in length and I've just drawn a little isometric drawing of a, of a generic piece of duct right here and put those dimensions on it so if I'm gonna go with 9 we know we're going to put our Pittsburgh on that 9 inch short dimension. So we can add 9 plus 1 plus the width of 20 plus the quarter inch to go into the other lock farmer or the other Pittsburgh that's going to come up from the other side. So 9 plus 20 is 30 plus a quarter. So our cut size is going to be 30 and 1 quarter by the length 36 inches. So we have to have two 30 and 1 quarter inch pieces by 36 inch pieces to make the two duct halves to make the one rectangular section 9 by 20 by 36. So we do exactly the same thing for the 18 inch so we need two 30 and a quarter by 18 inch to get the two halves for the 18 inch section. So now that we know what we have to what our cut size is we can lay it out real quick. This is an, is an example of why it's beneficial to buy different widths of sheet metal. Like this happens to be a 36 inch duct. Well, I measured the job to make sure I can use multiples of my sheet metal width. This is a 36 inch metal, so the length of this duct is going to be the width of the metal, minimizes one of the cuts. So all I have to do is lay out 30 and a quarter down here and cut it, 30 and a quarter, cut it. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to lay out 30 and a quarter. And one more 30 and a quarter here. Because remember, the last piece of duct is 18 inches. What's 18 and 18? 18 and 18 36. So I'm going to get both pieces of duct out of this one piece of metal. So now I mark up 18 inches right here. There's the two 18s. Here's the two 36s. In case you're wanting to know, this is um, 26 gauge metal. We know we're going to have the Pittsburgh lock go down one side so we can mark one inch. Mark one inch. On all your sheets, mark one inch all the way across for your notches. Mark quarter inch on the end. And this is going to be nine inch duck. So we to get nine inch we have to lay out ten inches from the end. Go 
back and pick up your 10 inch mark in from the outside edge. Two sets of duct, 18 inch long, 36 inch long, 9 by 20, ready to cross break, run through the lock farmer. Say what, there is something you can do though to streamline. If you notice I got two sheets here. You can cross break two sheets at a time. You can cross break two sheets at a time but I never recommend folding two sheets at a time. I've worked with guys in the past that would go ahead and fold the quarters and fold the 90s, and what happens, you end up with two different size halves. The outside piece, because of slippage and because of, well, it's folding around the inside piece, it will actually end up about three thicknesses of metal wider than what the other piece is. So I limit it to just cross breaking two. I'll go fold those halves, we'll come back and get them ready to put together. Well, my battery went dead there in the last one. This here is the last one to do. I think I started to say, it's easier to do these in duct half sections than to wait and do the whole thing with a duct assembled for two reasons. Then you're limited to the differences of the slot openings for the different widths of the duct, so you have to search and get the right one. When you do the duct halves, you don't have to. And also, it's much lighter for doing half the weight of a duct versus the entire full weight of the duct. Doesn't matter much for two and three and four foot duct, but you get up to a piece of eight foot duct, it does matter. Well, I don't know how often y'all have the opportunity to make just simple straight duct, but that's all there are to it, providing you got the tools and equipment to do it. Of course, you can do them by hand. There's nothing that says you can't do them by hand. You can hand farm, uh, hand farm your lock farmers, especially in these small dimensions. You know, little 18 inch, 36 inch, it's fairly easy to, to fabricate the, uh, the handmade lock farmer. Uh, get up to eight foot, it's, it's a, little, a little bit more difficult. I just thought it'd be kind of nice for you just to see some simple straight duct. The thing about, about duct work, whenever you're working in a situation where you're retrofitting, and also if it's on somebody else's job that's already done a lot of prep work for you, you just kind of coming in and give it a helping hand. Uh, there's nothing known as standard ductwork in those applications because you can look all day long for half the things that I make and you're not going to find them. You have to just literally measure something up and make it yourself. So this 9 by 20 inch is a little bit odd, but if you uh, if I get to film anything on site, you'll see why it's, it's all a little bit odd. I just had to make it uh, to where we could get adequate airflow and work with the materials that we got. I don't think I could buy 9 by 20. I don't know. That might be a standard size but typically it's not. So at any rate, it's kind of nice to refresh yourself every now and then, just to kind of remember how to do the basics when it comes around to metal. The basics don't really change, you know? There's so much material needed to do a given thing, 
and you just add all that stuff to the width and the heights of your duck and just go with it. You know, fold it up and it'll work out. That's the end of this one. And you know what? This is Trackman 44 and I am out of here.